Hello everyone and welcome here to Atlanta for qualifying for the Jimmy John's 500. The last race of the round of 12 in the chase. And uh, yeah, Jimmy John's 500 here in Atlanta. Second trip to Atlanta and last chance for uh, a couple people to move on to the next round. Last chance, of course, but we start off with the race lane drivers trying to get into race here, uh, top four, make the race, and, uh, well, yeah, take a rose first one off here at Atlanta, it was an interesting race last time we went to Atlanta, it was ultimately decided off of fuel strategy, Jay Jefferson was able to get the win, locking himself into the chase, and, uh, it's also, Jay Jefferson is currently one of the drivers on the bubble right now, but not by much. As a, still, anybody can get eliminated and anybody can get in. Still very close in the points, so don't count anybody out. Don't count anybody in. My, uh, Jacob Rose is gonna sit to the first lap time of 27.1 right there. It's out of choice, 6.9 that time. Rakowski, Alex Hamilton on, on track as well. Permar Ots getting on track. Said top four. Make the race. Rose still on top of the board right now. So we're uh, getting ready to um, get through this. Sorry for being quiet. Are not so going to get in. It's a decent lap time. I'm tired right now. Should have recorded this earlier. Overtime now looks like 
it's going to be Spurly 2, Otz, Rose, and Hightower getting in. Field. That's it for uh, wrestling drivers qualifying. People who will advance into the main event are Jacob Rose, Joe Hightower, Firmer Odds, and Spurly Rally Spurly too. So uh, yeah, I'll see you for <coughs> full field qualifying. All right, so welcome back here to qualifying from. Atlanta qualifying for the Jimmy John's 532nd race of the season. I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As I said, this, uh, this race is the last chance to uh, make it into the round of eight of the chase. The chase has been flying by pretty fast, and uh, uh, I'd say starting position. Uh, well, it kind of matters. Uh, Jay Jefferson, he won from the poll last time here, and Jay Jefferson, one of your uh, people on the bubble right now, so. Yeah. It mostly came, mostly came down to fuel strategy, though, as uh, Jefferson had the winning strategy. Monaco, Eric Monaco, one of the people uh, on the bubble, I believe. Yeah, Eric Monaco, one of the people on the bubble. Uh, he's gonna set them up for a slap. Start his first lap here. Atlanta. Monaco. Trying to pick it in. Like I said, uh, don't count anybody in and don't count anybody out. It's still very close in the points, and anybody can get eliminated still, and anybody can make it into the next round. Unlike, uh, unlike, unlike. Unlike the last uh, round where uh, two people were locked in, actually one person, Jay Hoover, locked in last round. Jay Hoover is leading the points right now. He's in the best situation. But Monaco sets down his first lap time. Looks like some other people were saying no lap times. I was paying attention. Monaco sets down 26.6. Pull up now, Ben Crouch at the top of the board. And Chase Stapleton, he's on top. Looks like he's drafting with Ulrich there. I guess draft, draft is something here at this track as well. I should have recorded this earlier, I'm tired. Yeah, I have a lot of shuffling behind Crouch, who's currently at the top of the board. Whoa. Rains. He's coming up at road. Like, Rain is just really slow over right there, that's odd. Caleb Campo, he jumps to the top of the board. I believe he is above the bubble. So, you know, I think Campbell is inside the uh, cutoff area, so I don't think it's by much. I think it's only by like three points or four points. Because, yeah, your, your four people in the cutoff area right now are Nick Smith, Jay Jefferson, Luke Rainey, and Eric Monaco. And they're all very close together. All either all of them can still make it. Just uh, Nick Smith is the farthest behind the, the uh, cutoff by 11 points. That's still definitely recoverable. 
We're going to go over Lonzo at the top of the board now. I think for the 2018. Haven't seen him do that much this season. Jefferson, the pole sitter and winner last time. He's fifth right now, fifth fastest. Jefferson jumps up to third row at the point now. Row, he can still be eliminated. He's been the most consistent driver all season. Those are the points that you're coming into the chase. Definitely a high pick for the championship. Definitely. Starting with a teammate. Jay Jefferson, who just jumps to the top of the board. Jefferson might be able to go back to back at Atlanta like his teammate Ramos did at Vegas. Maybe if he can hold that pole position. Come on, play the same strategy as he did last time. Though some people might catch on to the strategy. <laughs> this one even faster that time looked like right there. Jefferson, like I said, he's one of the people in the cutoff area. He's got to recover all that ground, but he's only about four points, I think, off. Like three points. Well, uh, Johnny Gardner. Gardner, he's on pit road right now. Uh, Gardner, he's only one point ahead of the cut right now. That's not what that 20 team wants. Of course, Garner currently scored his uh, 35th pass. That's not good for that 20 team. Really not good for that 20 team. That's not what they need. That's not what they need whatsoever. <clears throat> yeah, big pack right here is basically the entire top 10 to approach. Jim Ramos, he's in the top 10. Mm -hmm. Like it might be Powers Racing 1 2. Might be. Maybe. Both of them in the chase. We need to take a look where Luke Rainey is, though. Rainey. Not want to start in the back, but he's currently 35th fastest. Where Gardner dropped 37th. It's not what that 48 team, that's what the 20 team wants, but right, he's still got to make up. Still got to, Garner's still got to finish ahead of Smith, Jefferson, and Cantbell, I believe. I think Garner, where'd Garner go? Garner's 39th fastest now, that's not good. Igor Barreto's back there. He's a, he was a last race winner. He's not a chaser, though. Quentin Moore, though. But more, he's in the cheese one of your chasers. That's not what he needs. He does not need to qualify dead last. So shuffling is not impossible here. Dude. It's like a Maverick when I blew up in the corner. Yep. Blew up. And then just gave way. Oh. Yeah, that's not what Quinn Moore wants. He can very much be eliminated. Shuffling, like I said, shuffling, not impossible at this track. You can get shuffled out. Let's go on board with Jefferson. Way up wide. Now it's been run on his teammate. Look for Rainy. Where is Rainy right now? There's Rainy right now. I does not have any drafting help. My cat wants something. Probably I just learned the room. And
well, anyway, as I was saying, Rainey, uh, he needs to start good, and he needs to finish good. He, uh, you know, he actually just needs to finish two positions ahead of Gardner, at least, but still, he can get eliminated if even if he does that. And, because he's 39th fastest, that's two positions higher than Gardner, but still... Couldn't more prove it's time to prove up to 35th. That's good news for that. 19, I guess. We're getting close to the end of this uh, session here. Jefferson pulling down pit row. Looks like Jefferson might be able to get the pull. And, uh, and hope we can hang on to that pull and get a win. And, you know, just a good finishing spot. And, uh, end up. The uh, winner once again at Atlanta. There's something wrong with the 92. I think it has a flat, parting a flat tire. 92. It doesn't matter though. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know why I said this. Uh, I got 30 Ryan right here. Looks like Jefferson's gonna get the pull. Jake Hoover. 15. He's got 49. Well, actually, a lot of chasers near the back here. Eric Monaco, he's back here. Nick Smith, he's back here. Will Rainey, of course, back here. More. Joshua Sim and Johnny Gardner is gonna just probably start last. He will. Once again, more chasers starting in the back, but we do have a couple starting up front, of course. Jay Jefferson's gonna get the pull. Second, uh, looking to sweep at Atlanta. You know, he sweeps. He sweeps the polls, but uh, trying to go back to back wins. Alexander Rowe qualifies second. Good for that 14 team teammates. Ryan line up to front row. Caleb Campbell. He's Gonna start eighth. It's the outside line though, but no good starting position for that 4016, which is what they need. It's really what it's really what Jefferson needs. Uh, good starting position. It's uh it's probably is his best track, so this probably might be his best chance. Uh, yeah. Johnny Garner gonna line up last. He's gonna have to hope. That he can luck out, shuffle out, and uh, get a good uh, finishing. But yeah, Joshua Sim also back here. Quentin Moore, Luke Rainey, Nick Smith, Monaco, Scott. All of these guys can get eliminated. The biggest surprise would be Luke Rainey with his five wins, not six. <laughs> He's looking for six. Uh, if he were to get eliminated in just the second round, that'd be surprising as a... Uh, I honestly thought he'd be the number one pick for the championship, but he's looking... Uh, it's still not over. Definitely not over, but it would be quite the surprise to see the winningest driver get eliminated in round two. But uh, yeah, that's that. I'll see you tomorrow for the running of the Jimmy John's 500 at Atlanta. See you then.